Hi, my name is Sonia and welcome on our running technique basic training. And today we focus on our feet. Why is it so important? Because everything starts with our feet. Our first movement while we are running, it's with our foot. So how we position it and how we collocate it while we are running, it really has an impact on all our body position. What's more, it's really important to warm up our feet before any running session. Like this we prevent injuries because it has especially impact on our knees, our calves and our ankles. So first exercise that you can include before any running session. You take your knee up and from here you go all the way up with your tip tops and down. You stretch all the way up and down and you repeat it five times. Up and down, tip tops up and down. You feel the stretch. And from here, from the same position, you do rotations of your ankles to the outside. And now you change to the inside. Okay, we'll repeat the same on the other leg. You take the other knee to your chest, you hold it, and all the way up with your tip tops, and you stretch all the way down. Up and down. Repeat five times. Feel the stretch all the way up, all the way down. And now we go with our ankles rotations to the outside, exterior, and to the inside. You can do the same rotations when you're on the ground. So you can stay here and you do exterior rotations and the interior rotations and you change the leg, you do the same, and to the inside. Right now, we will go from the heel to the tip tops. So you go all the way up with your tip tops and then all the way up with your heels. And you repeat, up and down. Your heels and your tip toes. You breathe, you feel the pressure on your tip toes. Repeat it 10 times. So seven times more, six, five, four, three, two, one. Right now, the same, but walking. So we are going from the heel to the tiptoe all the way up. And you keep going. Heel and tiptoe, heel and tiptoe. Mark it really well, the pressure on the front side of your foot. Feel the metatarsus, feel the tip tops. Okay, stretch it really well. Next exercise. Right now you go all the way up on your tip toes. You squeeze your glutes. Your hips are in a backwards and you go walking only on your tip toes. Mark them really well, they go up each time you do step to the front. You should feel your calves. They are working right now. They should be tense. Keep going. 10, 20 meters. Now we'll do some jumps. So we go again all the way up. Our heels are not touching the ground. And we jump front, back, front, back and you feel the pressure on your tiptoes and on your metatarsus. Keep going with a double jump in between. And right now we will change and we go like ping pong without this jump in between. Back and forward, back and forward. Feel your calves. They are training right now. We prepare them for the real running session. And right now, We'll do the same, but to the sides. Double jump to the sides. Heels are not touching the ground. Breathe. And we'll go back to the ping pong. Three, two, one. Let's go to the sides. Your calves are still working. You feel them. Three, two, one. One. Now the same, but just one leg. So it will be even harder and you will feel your calves even more. One leg up in the air and we go backwards and forwards with a double jump. Front and back and prepare. We will go ping pong. Three, two, one. Let's go. 
without the middle jump in between. Keep going, keep going. Right now our calf is on the fire. Three, two, one. And we change the leg. The same on the other one. We jump with the small jump in between on our tiptoes and metatarsus. And we go to the ping pong. Three, two, one. Let's go. Keep going, keep going. Calf on fire. Three, two, one. The same, but to the sides. Just one leg. Let's go. Double jump. We go right and left. Few more. And we'll go ping pong. Let's go. Right and left. Without middle jump, and we change the leg. Let's go. Your heel is up all the time. And the last one, we go without the middle jump in between. Next exercise. Right now, we will go on our metatarsus and on our tip tops. Each time, we go with the other leg up with our knee. So you go up with the right knee, and at the same time, you go up with your left heel. Keep going. 10 times, one foot, and then we change. Put the pressure on your metatarsus and feel how your tiptoes are activated. Three, two, one. And we change the side, the other knee, all the way up, and the other heel all the way up as well. You activate your foot, you prepare it for a running session, you coordinate with your arms at the same time. Three, two, one. Same exercise, but right now we will be moving forward. So we go right, we step down, left. And each time with our foot we go up and the opposite knee goes up as well. We do it slowly. So you do it correctly and the movement is correct as well. You squeeze your core, keep going. Remember each time you go up with your heel and you put the pressure on your tip tops. Three, two, one. So now exactly the same movement with our heel and our knee up, but this time a bit faster and with the little jump in between. So we go right knee and left heel, and all the time our heels are up. We try to keep them in the air. You breathe, you coordinate with your arms as well. You squeeze your core, and you feel the pressure on your tip tops. You feel your metatarsus. That's how your feet sure to be working right now. Three, two, one. Let's go to the next exercise. Right now we will do low skipping. So you still remember about your metatarsus. Your knees, they don't need to go too much up. They can be low, low movements, but focus on your feet and focus on your heels to be up and pressing on your tip tops. Let's go, let's go. Coordinate with your arms, squeeze your core. Keep going. Three, two, one. Let's go to the next exercise. Right now, the same one, but on each leg. We continue with a low skipping, but this time we mark each time one knee, one leg. One leg goes more up, and the other one, it's more pressing on the metatarsus and on the feet. Keep going, keep going. We don't touch the ground with both heels. Coordinate with your arms. Three, two, one. And now on the other leg. Next exercise, jump, where we focus on the boosting from our metatarsus. So our jumps are like this. And we should feel how we impact and boost from our metatarsus all the way up, as much as you can, as high as you can. Try to coordinate your arms and your legs and feel your metatarsus. Don't jump from your heels, neither from your tiptoes. 
Let's go to the next exercise. Again, we focus on our metatarsis and our impulses should be from this part of our feet. But this time we do scissors. So our legs are go all the way to the front. You don't lean back, you go forwards and you feel only metatarsis that is touching the ground. Keep going. Three, two, one. And the next exercise. Next exercise, just one leg. We kick it to the forward while jumping. And again, you press on your metatarsus. First, it goes your knee, and then the whole leg that goes straight to the front. Keep going, keep going. Three, two, one. As you noticed, most of our exercises were focusing on the metatarsus part of our feet. Why is that? Because that's the most efficient way while we are running. So we limit the impact of our foot on the ground. We don't do the whole movement from the heel to our tip tops, but we only touch with our metatarsus. So like this, we can run more efficient and faster. Thank you for joining me in today's class.